Hello Discord users, today I'll be showing you how you can modify your Discord client using Vanguard. So first thing, go to the link in the description and download the installer. Now Windows may say it's not safe to keep, but it's completely safe. Now you have to run the a program normally, not as administrator. Choose your Discord version and then click on install. Once you've done that, it's going to restart your Discord client. Then you can close out of the installer and to make sure you've installed it correctly go into your user settings and you should see the when code tab opened up so uh i'm going to quickly show you a few plugins that i found very useful so first thing if you're broke like me and you don't have money to buy nitro uh, you can search up for fake nitro and it gives you all the nitro perks that you've been looking for for absolutely free that means you can stream for at at uh, source uh, resolution at 60 frames per second you can use any emojis anywhere and you can also use the discord uh, discord's custom uh, themes so just enable the plugin and restart now keep in mind you will have to keep restarting your client after every plugin that you add it is a bit painful but if you want you can uh, forward through the video see all the plugins that i use enable them at once and then just restart your client once and for all i figured this out only while doing this voiceover so i'm really sorry if the video is unnecessarily wrong but um, this is how it happens. So uh, as you can see, I'm using any emoji I want in the chat. Now I'm going to navigate to a voice channel and I'm going to show you all that I can stream at whatever resolution I want and at whatever frame rate I want. That is, uh, look at that, I can stream at source 60 FPS without Nitro. In fact, it even gives me the message over there saying that I need to buy Nitro. Keep in mind though, uh, any client modification like better Discord or Vencord is against Discord's terms of service. So use this at your own risk and you have a very small chance of getting banned though not many people have been known to get banned using these clients so I think you're safe as long as you use the plugins that are officially available and don't use any custom CSS plugins or themes. Now uh, the next um, plugin that I want to show you is called Relationship Notifier. This plugin is pretty self-explanatory so what this does is every time anybody adds you or removes you as friend it's going to notify you. Uh, pretty useful if you have uh, more than a hundred or 150 friends and you know you keep you know you keep adding new friends you know blocking people and you know you can see uh, when people add you or remove you and when people block you and all that stuff so pretty useful but I don't recommend if you want to use discord just for your friends it's really it's really unnecessary it's not even going to be used most of the time so uh, it's up to you the next uh, uh, plugin is going to be pin DMs. Very useful plugin. I use it personally. So uh, usually Discord arranges the DMs uh, in order of the chat activity. So uh, whoever you've messaged recently is going to be on top, and uh, it's going to be in that order. But if you pin DMs, all you have to do is right click and click on pin DM. The option will be enabled once you enable the plugin and restart your client. Those DMs will just be on top of the rest. So, and once you're done with them, just right click and unpin DM or just close DM depending on what you want to do. So, uh, that's that. Now, the next plugin is going to be uh, Friend Invites. Now, this plugin is, I'm not a big fan of it, but it's at the same time, if you want uh, to make your friend requests or your friend invites look more cool, you can enable this. And once you restart your, uh, your uh, Discord client, what you can do is slash create friend invite. And what this does is uh, the way you have a server invite, right? It just, it's the same thing, but if anybody clicks on it, they become your friend. So it's a, it's a cool thing, but uh, it has some modifications as well as to how many users can, can use it and uh, how many days it expires. In. So you can use this if you want to. I recommend using it in servers for those who want to add you as friends. Otherwise, um, you need not use this plugin. So the next plugin is going to be uh, read all notifications. So if you have many notifications pouring into your discord, you're in many servers and you don't mute your uh, servers, then this is going to be very handy for you. So you can just under your uh, home button, there's going to be a button called read all notifications as I'm going to show you shortly. Uh, it's If you just click on it, all your notifications, your DMs will be marked as red. So this is a useful plugin if you don't want to go into each server, click mark as red or go through all the messages so uh, I use this plugin again personally because I'm in many servers as you can see and it just had a small little button there that says read all notifications then the next uh, plugin is going to be uh, mute new guild which again I'm a big fan of because uh, every time you join a server say a big server say the Mr. B server or the Linus Tech Tip server uh, now these servers have over a million members each so 
uh, your discord is going to be pouring in with notifications so unless you don't mute these servers you're going to be in big trouble so next time you join a server it's going to automatically mute the server for you so very useful plugin next thing i'm going to use is uh, this is a purely aesthetic plugin so it's called plain folder icon now normally when you create a folder in discord it's that ugly looking folder with the server icons shown in it but once you enable this plugin it's basically just a plain folder icon and you can change the color of it and all that stuff so as you can see i've changed the color and uh, you can rename the folder as well it looks really cool and it doesn't uh, make the servers the server folder look really ugly then the next one is a plugin that's again used for servers it's called silent typing now usually this can be overcome by just putting your status to invisible but for those of you who want to stay on dnd or on online uh, a status then you can enable silent typing so what this does is while you're typing in a server uh, the message above the chat box that comes saying so and so is typing will not come for you when you type so basically your status will remain online or on dnt but while you type uh, nobody's going to be able to know that you're actually typing you can also click on show the icon to enable it and disable it whenever you want so it's uh, you have to obviously restart your client for doing that and you'll see in a moment the icon is going to appear in the bottom right of the screen there you go so that icon uh, you can either enable or disable based on your preference uh, so i i don't use this plugin as much but if you want to use it you can then the next one's going to be uh, no reply mention so whenever you reply to a message on discord say somebody says hi and you click on the reply button and reply with say another hi so what that's going to do is that's going to ping the person so it's going to highlight the message in yellow and give him ping notification so if you don't want that to happen uh, what this does is by default you can actually uh, disable it by default but um, by clicking on that off button but this plugin does it automatically and you don't need to worry about disabling it every time now the next plugin is called uh, image zoom now this is a very useful plugin because uh, every time I get an image on Discord, which is really tiny, all I ha all I do is I uh, click on open in browser and then I have to zoom it into the browser. A lot of headache. So instead of that, this uh, plugin allows you to zoom the image in Discord. All you got to do is open up the image, press and hold your LMB, your left mouse button, and move over the image to zoom it. So uh, very useful plugin, and I use it uh, on a daily basis because obviously to look over images without opening them in the browser the next plugin is going to be uh, who reacted again self-explanatory plugin uh, basically you go over to a message and you see the reactions it's going to show the person's profile picture next to the reaction so you can know who reacted to your message and there's no uh, again it's based on personal preference you can either use it or you can turn it off based on your preference because there are some messages who gets who get you know crazy amount of reactions and the profile picture next to each of them looks pretty ugly so again it's an aesthetic plugin next is message link embeds now this plugin is um, only for the when card users like if you're using when card and um, say your message recipient also uses when card then this is going to be useful so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on the message and uh, click on copy message link and uh, paste it in the chat box and click enter so what this does is, is it gives me a small little embed for my uh, link and the preview of the message now if i copy the link of the uh, embedded message and paste it again so it gives me the message the embedded message the preview of that message and then the entire message inside it so it's a useful plugin if you want to know what embed you're going to click on especially if it's a message embed um, and uh, yeah pretty useful plugin so next is going to be call timer now discord by default doesn't provide a call timer to see how long you've been talking to uh, i don't know why you would want to keep a track of this but i still find it um, pretty useful nothing great but if you want to enable it it's up to you so it just basically shows you how long you've been in the call for the next one is going to be um, uh, disable dm call idle now if two of you are talking in a call and one of you leaves and say he says he'll be right back uh, say in five minutes or five to six minutes what discord does is after three or four minutes it automatically kicks you out of a call um, so what this plugin does is it disables that and it enables you to uh, you know stay in call for as long as you want alone the next one is going to be uh, send voice messages on discord once you enable the plugin and restart your client you can send voice messages the way you do on whatsapp or on instagram so all you got to do is navigate over to a dm or a server uh, click on the plus icon and then click on send voice message now this is a bit buggy it takes some time to send so i'll, I'll demonstrate it right uh, now to you so i recorded a small message and sent it 
and on top it says now sending voice message please be patient but at first nothing happens so i get confused and i try to send another one just watch what happens so uh, here i'm sending the second voice message i record it stop and then uh, i also previewed before sending to see if it actually records my voice which it does very well then i click on send same message again now sending voice message please be patient but nothing happens but once i go out of the dm and come back there you go both the voice messages have been sent so it's a little buggy it may take some time to work but it is a very useful plugin so you can test it out preview voice messages and also send them to people in your dms or in your servers so the next uh, plugin is going to be um, uh your th it's not a plugin but it's basically uh themes so uh now if you're not a fan of the discord default themes uh, i personally like them the ones that are available in the appearance appearance menu if you don't like them then what you can do is go to the theme section click on online themes and click on get better discord themes uh then you'll be taken to this page where you can choose your theme now for the purpose of this video i'll be using dark matter very popular theme uh what you can do is uh i'll show you two installations so one is basically uh, through the Vencord installer where the theme is directly provided a link for Vencord. What you want to do is copy this link, go to the online uh, installer uh, uh, of your uh, Vencord, copy the link with the HTTPS and once you go to online themes, paste it, click the enter key and click off the box. So once it says valid, you're automatically into the theme. There you go, you have a cool looking theme now. Now the second method to do, uh, do this is sometimes uh, the theme provider will not provide you with a Vencord link. So you go to find it on your own. Very easy. I'll show you how to do it. Now let's say you want to install this theme uh, called Clear Vision. Now, uh, as you can see on the theme page, they haven't provided a link for Vencord. So what you want to do is click on the GitHub link and then scroll down and see until you find the CSS file. So as you can see, Clear Vision version 6.css. Uh, click on Raw and then it should take you to this page. Now the same steps, copy the link with the HTTPS, paste it, click enter and then click off the box and the theme will get automatically applied. Now uh, same process for all the themes, uh, you may sometimes get the Vencord link directly or you may have to find it through GitHub. So uh, once that's done, uh, you're basically good to go with Vencord and uh, there are many more plugins and themes to explore but these are the ones that I found best. And uh, feel free to check it out, but make sure not to use any custom plugins that violate Discord's rules in terms of service. Uh, there are some plugins that uh, keep deleted messages and bypass the NSFW age requirement and all that. So stay away from those plugins. Use Vencord as a modification to make your Discord client better. And, uh, you know, just stay away from all the bad stuff. Uh, now, let's say you're done with Vencord. Okay, you want to uninstall it. So, uh, first thing you want to disable your theme. So, just go to the theme section, uh, delete it from the uh, text box, and click off it. It should come off. And then, uh, once go to your plugin folder, go to uh, show enabled plugins, and basically disable every plugin from there. And uh, your Discord should be back to normal. But uh, Vencord will still be in installed, and I'll show you how to get rid of that. So, uh, as you can see, in show enabled plugins, nothing's there. Uh, so what you want to do is close out of your discord and preferably quit it or if not just keep it open go to your file explorer and the directory where you install your uh, vencord installer just select your path of your discord installation and click on uninstall and uh, that's it it's just one simple click once you're done with that you can open up your discord and see that vencord will be gone so as you can see uh, in my settings menu it's just my stable discord version no more vencord no more themes no more plugins just your clean vanilla discord um, so that's it for this video and I know it's been a very long time since I made a discord video uh, and thank you so much for 100 subscribers I will keep uploading more frequently and I also do stream regularly on YouTube and on Twitch so make, su make sure to follow me there and as always I will see you all in the next video goodbye